All right, so let's just get started in a comfortable seat on our mats. So go ahead and close the eyes, ground down through the sit bones, find a tall spine. Just roll the shoulders up to the ears and down the back a few times, just beginning to arrive here in the space. Arriving here in your body. Take a deep breath in through the nose, filling up, finding that space in the body, stretching the body from the inside out. Hold the breath at the third eye. And then exhale, just let it go. Letting go of your day. Good. One more big breath, just like that deep breath in. Hold. Exhale, just let it go. Setting the space, start starting the class with three ohms. <clears throat> Take a deep breath in. class with the short call and response chanting. We're going to chant to Sita and Rama. So Sita is the embodiment of the divine feminine and Rama is the embodiment of the divine masculine. So the feminine is like your intuition. It's like this love, the sweetness, the softness, right? And the masculine is like your, your checklist, like your go, go, going. It's like the monkey mind. Like you're like, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. Faster, stronger, bigger, better, da, 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 you know? So you're like trying to hit all these like, these benchmarks, right? Maybe it's in your job, maybe it's just in your life. Maybe it's like trying to get like a parental approval, whatever it may be. So we get so caught up in this cycle, this masculine energy cycle that we forget to bring back in the feminine energy, right? To recenter, to reconnect, to come back home and tune into our intuition, tune into what we really want, like our hopes, our dreams, our, our, our passions, right? So we're gonna sing to Sita and Rama to balance these energies, right? So I sing and then you sing and then I sing and then you sing.
last time. Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram. 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 Beautiful, you guys. Just allowing that mantra to resonate in the body, to resonate in the mind. Just helping you to find that balance between the masculine and the feminine. Finding that balance between the right side of the body and the left side of the body. So the right side of the body is in alignment with the masculine and the left side is in alignment with the feminine. So noticing which side today throughout your practice might be tighter, which side might be more open, what do you need more of, what do you need less of. Gently blinking the eyes open. Let's start in child's pose. So make your way forward on your mat. Heels together, knees out wide. Walk the hands out long in front of you. Rest the third eye down to the mat. Okay. Just take a deep breath here. Exhale. Just beginning to arrive here on your mat. Arriving here in your body. Big breath in, exhale, good. On the inhale, slowly start to walk the hands over to the left side of your mat, reaching through the right fingertips. So stretching out that masculine side of the body first, reaching all the way through the right fingertips, grounding down through the right sit bones. I love these leggings, they're super cute. <laughs> Deep breath in. Exhale, walk the hands to the opposite side of the mat, reaching through the left fingertips, stretching out that feminine side of the body, the left side. So noticing which side might be more open today, which side might be tighter. Like what can you let go of? So the feminine, like the negative of the feminine is that you're like wishy-washy, right? That you're like being like a space cadet. So maybe like you need to become more grounded. Walk the hands back through center. Prop yourself up on your elbows. Walk your elbows out in front of you and then hover the hands to prayer over the head. So you get this like tricep stretch. Yeah, sitting the seat back in space. Opening up the shoulders. Good. Deep breath here. Exhale, release the hands down to the mat and just press up to your tabletop position. Moving through a couple rounds of cat cows. On the inhale, dropping the belly, gaze goes up. On the exhale, round through the spine, gaze is at the belly, press the floor away from you. Using the breath as a guide, inhale, arch up, look up, shine the heart forward. Exhale, round and hollow. Press the floor away from you. Gaze is at the belly. Last round, inhale. Exhale, good. Now just begin to invite in that organic movement. So finding some side to side motions with the spine, bringing the seat towards the heels, whatever is calling to you today here on your mat, right? So just taking that little inventory of the body. Sorry, you guys, I'm trying to center bend a little bit better for you. Good, noticing where you need more space. Good. Just moving intuitively. Maybe finding a wrist stretch on the mat, like Ben. Reversing the hands on the mat and just leaning back. Let the head hang heavy, sway side to side. <laughs> Shelly, you're so funny. Good. And then just make your way back to your neutral tabletop. On the next inhale, sweep the right arm up high. Open up through the chest, gaze goes up. Exhale, slide the right arm underneath the left shoulder. Lay the right ear down to the mat. Good. Either staying here, you can wrap that left arm around the lower back if that feels good. You can extend the left arm out long in front of you. You can extend that left leg. Whatever is calling it to you today. Good. One more breath here. Inhale. Exhale. Release the left hand back down to the mat and sweep the right arm up high. Open up the heart. Exhale. Right hand comes down. Switching sides. Inhale. Left hand goes high to the sky. Gaze goes up. 
Exhale, slide it underneath the right shoulder, thread the needle, find your variation of this pose. What do you need today, right? Just being very like aware of the body today, bringing your, like being more conscious, right? Of what's going on. A deep breath in. Exhale, release the right hand back down. Sweep the left arm high to the sky. Open up the chest. And then exhale, left hand comes down. Tuck the toes under. Hover the knees like two inches up off the mat. So press the space up between the shoulder blades. Engage the core. Holding here for three, two, one. Press the sit bones all the way up and back. First downward facing dog. Pedaling out here in your first down dog. Taking a deep bend in one knee, deep bend in the other knee, relaxing the shoulders away from the ears, shaking the head out, yes and no. Good, take a deep breath in, exhale, good. Next inhale, sweep the right leg up high to the sky, bend the knee, open the hip, and then start to circle out the knee here in one direction. So just releasing that ball and socket joint, big circles. Good. Switching directions as you're ready. Just releasing any kinks, any crunchies in the hips. And then send that right leg back up high behind you. Exhale, step it forward between the hands. Drew, grab your blocks, drop the hips, open the heart, gaze goes up, find space. And then exhale, just bow over that right leg. Flex the right toes back to the face. Moving with your breath. Inhale, shift it forward. Gaze goes up. Exhale, straighten it out. Just starting to work into that left hip flexor. Inhale, bend into the right knee. Gaze goes up. Exhale, straighten it out. Stay here and breathe. So think about drawing the right hip back in space. Flexing the right toes back to the face. Release the head and neck. Big breath here, inhale. Exhale, bend back into the right knee, lower the left knee, and then just walk the hands to the top of the left thigh. Find a couple pulses here. Just starting to wake up the front of that left hip. It's probably tender on you, huh? <laughs> and then next inhale, reach the arms up high. Anjane Asana, low lunge. Sink into that right knee, catch the left wrist, lean it over to the right side of the space. Find this length all the way through the left side of the body. Big breath here, inhale. Exhale, hands come down, straighten out the right leg and just bow over the right leg. Release the head and neck, drawing that right hip back, flex the right toes back to the face. Deep breath here. Exhale, bend back into the right knee, tuck the left toes under and just step it back to your downward facing dog. Switching sides, left leg goes high to the sky. Bend the knee, open the hip, start to circle it out here in one direction, big circles. Yeah, getting into that left hip joint, removing any old emotions that might be stored in this hip, switch directions if you haven't already. Good. And then send that left leg up high behind you. Exhale, step it forward between the hands, runner's lunge, drop the hips and open the heart. Gaze goes up. Exhale, straighten that left leg, bow over the left leg. Moving with the breath, inhale, shift it forward, gaze goes up. Exhale, straighten it out, bow. Last round, inhale, shift it forward. Exhale, straighten it out, stay here and breathe. Drawing that left hip back in space, flex the left toes back to the face. Deep breath here. Exhale, one more big inhale. Exhale, bend back into the left knee, lower the right knee, hands come to the top of the left thigh and just find a couple pulses, waking up the front of that right hip. Tall spine, shoulders away from the ears. Big breath here. And then reach the arms up to the sky, Anjaneyasana. Reach through the fingertips, find the length in the side bodies. Catch the right wrist, lean it to the left side of the space. Sink a little bit deeper in that left knee. Big breath here. Exhale, hands come down, straighten the left leg, Ardha Hanumanasana, half splits, flex the toes back to the face, draw that left hip back in space, deep breath here, inhale, fill up, exhale, bend back into the left knee and then step the right foot to meet the left hip width distance apart, 
grabbing opposite elbows, let the head hang heavy, and just sway side to side, releasing the lower back. Shake the head out, yes. Shake the head out, no. Release the hands down to the mat, engage the core, and begin to roll up, stacking one vertebrae at a time. Take your time. The head is the last to rise. When you reach the top, sweep the arms up overhead. Find that full body stretch. Big breath here. Exhale, bring the hands to prayer at heart center, closing the eyes. Just taking a moment to set an intention for your practice today. So maybe that intention is to just let go of something that no longer serves you, right? So maybe letting go of that like that routine that that um the checklist right the go go going letting go of like working yourself to death basically <laughs> and inviting in some more of that feminine energy that intuition that self-love that self-care take a deep breath in exhale good Gently blink the eyes open, front of the mat, toes and heels to touch, to dasana. Arms by the side, Surya Namaskare, Sun Salutation A. Inhale, arms up, palms press, gaze goes up. Exhale, pour it forward over straight legs, release the head and neck. Inhale, look forward, flat back. Exhale, plant the hands, step or float it back, chaturanga, flow through your vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog, gaze goes up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Yeah, first down dog. Starting to cultivate your ujjayi breathing in this down dog, right? So breath in and out through the nose, finding that restriction in the back of the throat with the breath. Inhale, exhale. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Last inhale. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, step or float forward between the hands. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Good. Inhale, rise all the way up. Arms up, palms press. Gaze goes up. Exhale, arms by the side. Tadasana. Two more times, just like that. Inhale, arms up, palms press. Exhale, fold it forward over straight legs. Bow. Good. Inhale, look forward and lengthen. Exhale, plant the hands. Step or float it back. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe, inhale. Exhale. All right, there's a train coming, so it might get a little... <laughs> Deep breath in. Good, inhale. Exhale. Good, that helps a little bit. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Inhale, exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, step or fold forward between the hands. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up, arms up, palms press, gaze goes up. Exhale, arms by the side, last time. Inhale, arms up, palms press, gaze up. Exhale, fold it forward over straight legs. Inhale, look forward, long spine. Exhale, step or float it back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe, inhale. Exhale, relax the shoulders away from the ears. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. And inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Oh good, it was a short one. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, step or float forward between the hands. Exhale, fold, or it's not done. Inhale, rise all the way up, arms up, palms press. Exhale, arms by the side, Tadasana. Moving on, inhale, hook the thumbs out in front of you. Reach up and arch your back, press your hips forward. Exhale, bend knees, swing arms, clasp hands, straighten out your arms and legs. Hands come down, step the right foot back, runner's lunge, gaze goes up. Exhale, left foot back, downward facing dog. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, lower knees, chest and chin to the mat. Inhale, slide to cobra. 
Exhale, stay low, press it back, downward facing dog. Inhale, step the right foot forward, lunge, gaze goes up. Exhale, left foot forward, fold it forward over straight legs. Inhale, bend the knees, hook the thumbs, reach up, arch your back. Exhale, bend knees, swing arms, clasp hands, straighten out your arms and legs. Hands come down, left foot goes back, runners lunge. Exhale, right foot back, down dog. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, lower knees, chest and chin to the mat. Inhale, slide to cobra. Exhale, stay low, press it back, downward facing dog. Inhale, step the left foot forward, lunge. Exhale, right foot forward, fold. Inhale, bend the knees, hook the thumbs, reach up, arch your back, press your hips forward. Exhale, bend knees, swing arms, clasp hands, straighten out your arms and legs, stay here. Start to transition the weight into the right foot and then you're gonna hover the left foot up off the mat. So like a flamingo, the knees are kissing together and you're bringing that left heel in towards the left sit bones. Press the fist back behind you. Start to find a little lift in the chest. So bend, fist go back. And then extend that left leg back behind you. Warrior three with the interlace of the hands. Find a little opening in the heart. Flexing that left foot. Big breath here. On the exhale, soften into the right knee. Land it back in your warrior one legs. Press the fist down behind you. Open up the heart. Inhale. Exhale, dive it down devotional warrior. Bow to the inside of that right thigh. Good. Maybe press the heels of the hands together to get a deeper opening in the chest. Good. So just bow, Drew. There you go. One more big breath here. Release the head and neck. Inhale. Exhale. Next inhale. Draw the hands down behind you and then rise up in your high lunge. Release the arms. Sweep the arms up high to the sky. Sink into that right knee. Big breath here, inhale. Exhale, hands come down, step it back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good, inhale, high plank. Exhale, lower knees, chest and chin to the mat. Inhale, slide to cobra. Exhale, stay low, press it back, downward facing dog. Good. Inhale, right leg goes high to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose, round and curl, hug it in. Inhale, leg goes high. Exhale, step it forward, rise up in your high lunge. High on the ball, that back foot, sink into the right knee. And then open the arms to the right side of the space. Gazes over the right fingertips. Moving with the breath here a few times. So sweep the right arm high, come back through center, then watch. And then open up to the right. So this right arm is moving clockwise. Come back through center, reach up. Open up to three o'clock, three and nine. Inhale, center, exhale, open it up. Stay here or you land that right hand to the back of the left thigh and reach through the left fingertips. Sink even deeper in that right knee. Find the length, breathe. Good, inhale. Exhale, windmill the hands down to the mat. Float the left leg up off the mat. Standing splits, walk the hands back to meet the standing leg. Yes, Drew, you got it. Good, lift that left leg up nice and high. And then exhale, round through the spine, crunch the left knee in towards the lips. Inhale, extend it high to the sky. Exhale, crunch it in, round through the spine. Last time, inhale, extend it high. Exhale, crunch it in. Good, this time extend it back up high to the sky. And then slide the left foot behind the right ankle. Crawl the hands over to the right side of your mat. Good, just release the head and neck. Breathe here, inhale. Exhale, feel the stretch in the outer left hip. Deep breath in. Exhale, walk the hands back through center. Bring the feet together to touch. Hook the thumbs out in front of you. Reach up and arch your back. Press your hips forward. Exhale, bend knees, swing arms, clasp hands. Straighten out your arms and legs. Stay here. Start to transition the weight into the left foot and then hover the right foot up off the mat. Knees are kissing together. Try to bring that right heel even closer to the right sit bones. Start to press the fist back behind you. So you're in this like flamingo pose and then extend the right leg back. Warrior three with the interlace of the hands. Holding here, find your core engagement for three, two, one, soften into the left knee, land it back. Warrior one legs, 
Open the heart, trace the fist down the back leg. And then exhale, dive it down, devotional warrior. Bow to the inside of that left thigh. Press the fist together for a deeper opening in the chest. Release the head and neck. Breathe here for three. Sink a little bit deeper for two. And one, inhale, come all the way back up to your high lunge. High on the ball of that back foot. Suck the belly in. Deep breath in. Exhale, hands come down, chaturanga. <laughs> yes, good, step it back. Downward facing dog. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, lower knees, chest and chin down on the mat. Inhale, slide to cobra. Exhale, stay low, press it back, downward facing dog. Good. Inhale, sweep the left leg up high behind you. Exhale, knee to nose, round and curl, hug it in. Inhale, leg goes high. Exhale, step it forward, rise up in your high lunge, sink into that left knee. Good. Open the arms to the left side of the space, gaze goes over the left shoulder. And then moving that left arm counterclockwise, sweep it up back to 12 o'clock. Open up to three and nine. Good, back through center, reach it up. Exhale, open it up, twist. One more time, inhale, center. Exhale, open it up, twist. Either stay here or you land that left hand to the back of the right thigh and reach through the right fingertips. Find the length all the way through that right side of the body for three, two, one, hands come down, float the right leg up off the mat, standing splits. Lift that right leg up nice and high. Maybe you catch the ankle with one hand, maybe you catch it with both. Breathe here, inhale. Exhale, release both hands down, and then bring that right knee in towards the nose. Good, inhale, extend the right leg high to the sky. Exhale, round, hug everything in. Two more times, inhale, extend. Exhale, round it out. Good. This time, extend the leg and then slide the right foot behind the left. Walk the hands over to the left side of your space. Feel the release in the outer right hip. Dawn, this probably feels really good. <laughs> After snowboarding all weekend. Different Dawn. I got Dawn online from Chicago and then I have Dawn here in the studio. One more breath. Lots of Dawns. <laughs> so, okay, bring the feet together to touch. Hook the thumbs out in front of you, reach up and arch your back, press your hips forward. Exhale, arms by the side, Tadasana. All right, inhale, Ukatasana, chair pose, bend the knees, arms up, palms press. Exhale, fold it forward over straight legs. Inhale, look forward, flat back. Exhale, plant the hands, step or float, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. No, you can always skip the chaturangas, just meeting in down dog. Inhale, step that right foot forward, rise up in your warrior one. Beautiful, set this up, Virabhadrasana, strong warrior. Inhale here, exhale, hands come down, step it back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot forward, warrior one, strong warrior, Virabhadrasana A, palms are pressing, sink into that left knee, inhale, exhale, hands come down, step it back, chaturanga, or just come near down dog, no worries. Downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana, deep breath in, deep breath out, inhale, exhale, Last big breath. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, step or float it forward between the hands. Exhale, fold. Good, inhale, Ukatasana, chair pose, bend the knees, arms up, palms press. Exhale, fold it right back down over straight legs. Inhale, look forward, lengthen, flat back. Exhale, plant the hands, step or float, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good, inhale, step that right foot forward, warrior one, adding on. Right away, open up warrior two, heel to arch alignment, good. Gazes over those right fingertips, flip the right hand, reach up, reach back, reverse your warrior, find this length, inhale. 
Exhale, hands frame the right foot. Left hand goes down, right hand goes high. Find your twist, open heart to the right side of your space. Gaze goes up past those right fingertips. Breathe here for three, two, one. Vashi Stasana, roll onto the knife's edge of the left foot. Maybe you collect that right toe with the peace fingers if you're trying the transition. If not, you just stack that right foot on top of the left and lift up through that left side of the body for three, two, one. Listen up, bend that right knee, drop it behind you, flip your dog, come into your wild thing. Reach the fingertips to the front of the space. Lift the hips a little bit higher. Good, lift up a little bit higher, three, two, one. And then you're gonna try to flip it all the way back over without landing the right hand down. Step the right foot forward, rise back up in your high lunge. High on the ball of that back foot. Big breath here. Open up, warrior two. Inhale, reach up, reach back, reverse. Exhale, extended side angle, right hand down. Left hand goes up and over. Yeah, nice modification, Dawn at home. Nice variation, Saskia, I like it. Debbie, you're on the wrong leg. Switch your leg. Right leg forward, left leg back. Nice bird of paradise, good. Two more breaths, inhale. Exhale. The last big breath, inhale. Exhale. Next inhale, come all the way back up, straighten everything out. Catch the right wrist and just lean to the back of the space. Open up through that right side of the body. Deep breath here. Exhale, arms come back to a T. Shorten the stance. Trikonasana, triangle pose. Reach, reach, reach forward. And then land that right hand on top of the right shin, ankle. Or you can grab that big toe. Gaze goes up past those left fingertips. Stacking the left hip on top of the right. Good breathing here. Feel the length all the way through that left side of the body. For three. Two, one, reach the left arm forward first. Find the length through the left side. And then frame the right foot with the hands. Walk the back foot in a little bit for your pyramid pose. Use your blocks, yes. Each foot's in its own lane. Lift up halfway. Exhale, fold, bow over that right leg. Breathing here, drawing that right hip back in space. Good. Trying to find that flat back. One more big breath, release the head and neck. Inhale, lift up halfway, revolve trikonasana. So the goal is to get the left hand completely grounded on the outside of the right foot, and then reach that right arm high. Or your hands underneath the face, or on a block. So right, yeah. Here, to do it here, because you're not open enough yet. Good, there you go, perfect. Good, finding that length, good. And then gaze comes down. So either stay here if this is challenging for you, or the gaze comes down, plant the left hand out in front of you and float the left foot up off the mat. Reach the right fingertips up high to the sky. Revolved Ardha Chandrasana. Maybe the gaze even comes up. Breathing here. Maybe you bend that left foot. Reach back for the inside arch of the left foot with the right hand for a twisted dancer's pose. So you're gonna kick into the hand. The harder you kick, the more likely it is that that left hand will float up off the mat to heart center. Yeah, challenge yourself. One more breath, inhale. Exhale, land the left hand back down to the mat. Switch the grip to the pinky side edge of the left foot and kick the left foot out to the right side of the space for a baby grasshopper pose. This is a challenging transition. I'm just throwing this in here for you guys. <laughs> you got it though, Carla. All right, and then just come down to your seat. You're gonna take a seated spinal twist. We're here, it's chill. <laughs> you get the challenge and then you get to chill, okay? Right hand down, left hand goes high, sit up nice and tall. Exhale, twist. Michelle, that was for you. <laughs> Inhale, spine length. Exhale, twist, gaze goes over that right shoulder. Inhale, find length. Exhale, twist. Violet's making a guest appearance again today. Inhale. Exhale, counter rotate, untwist your twist. Come back through center. Drew, you have your blocks. Put your blocks right here. Everybody else, plant your hands here. Cross the ankles. You're gonna engage your pelvic floor and lift your seats. Maybe you lift your feet. 
Violet. Come here. Come here. Hold in here. For three. Come on, Vi. She's cheering you guys on. One. <laughs> Release the seat. Come here, please. Lay down. Good girl. All right. This time, same engagement. And then you're going to try to wiggle the feet underneath the body and land it back in your low push-up. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay. I guess I'm feeling like a workout today. <laughs> Downward facing dog when you're ready. All right. We're going to switch sides. Inhale. Step the left foot forward. Rise up in your warrior one. Right away, open up warrior two. Come on, this is where I assisted you. Other foot. There you go. <laughs> and then reverse your warrior. Reach that left arm up and back. Find length. Like, I got to get the other side, girl. Hands frame the left foot. Right hand down, left hand goes high. Find your twist. Feel the heart open to the left side of the space. Gaze goes up past those left fingertips for three, two, one. Roll onto the knife edge of the right foot. Maybe you try the big toe bind transition. Maybe not. You just stack that left foot on top of the right. Gaze goes up if you can get it there. Good. And then drop the left foot behind you. Flip your dog. Come into your wild thing. Press the hips up. Reach the fingertips to the front of the room for three, two, one. So the challenge here is to step the left foot all the way back forward without landing the left hand down to the mat. High lunge. Beautiful, you guys. Open warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extended side angle. Left hand down, right hand goes up and over. Your variation. Maybe left forearm to left thigh. Gaze goes up past those right fingertips. There you go, Dawn. Looks good. Saskia, I love it. Good. Breathing. If you're binding, you're drawing that right shoulder down and away from the right ear. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale. Next inhale, rise all the way back up. Straighten everything out. Catch the left wrist. And just lean to the back of the space. Open up through that left side of the body. Deep breath here. Exhale, arms come back to a T. Shorten your stance. Trikonasana, reach, reach, reach forward. And then tick-tock the arms to six and 12. Gaze goes up past those right fingertips. Breathing here, stacking the right hip on top of the left. Good. Strong, straight legs. For three, two, one, extend the right arm forward, find length through the right side of the body, big breath. Exhale, hands come down to frame the left foot. Walk the back foot in about two feet for your pyramid pose. Each foot is in its own lane. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Good, breathing here. Good. Inhale, exhale, good, last big breath here, exhale, we're going to try this challenging sequence, inhale, lift up halfway, place the right hand on the outside of the left foot, hips are nice and square, and then extend the left arm up high to the sky, revolve trikonasana, or the right hand is underneath the face if you don't have your balance yet, or it's on a block. Good. Maybe the gaze is down to help you find your balance. One more breath here. And then exhale, gaze comes down, plant the right hand out in front of you and float the right foot up off the mat for your revolved Ardha Chandrasana. Left arm's high, right, arms, or right leg's lifted. Good, left arm high, right leg lifted. Maybe you bend that right knee, reach back with the left hand to catch the inside arch of that right foot and then you kick into that right foot as hard as you can to lift that right hand up off the mat and float it to prayer at heart center. Good, for a twisted dancer's pose. This is challenging. Last big breath here. Just challenge your balance. Good, exhale, right hand comes back down to the mat. Switch the grip to the outside of the right foot. Kick the right leg out to the left side of the space. Baby grasshopper. <laughs>
Maybe you hover the right hand, or you just come down to your seat. <laughs> For a seated spinal twist, left hand grounds, right hand goes high, inhale, exhale, twist. Hook the right tricep on the outside of the left thigh. Every inhale, finding length. Every exhale, twist. Then where'd she go? Oh, okay. Sorry, I didn't see her. Inhale. Exhale, last big breath. Inhale. Exhale, counter rotate. Untwist your twist. Come back through center. Maybe you work on that jump back one more time. Or you just make your way to your down dog. <laughs> Goals. Jade is hard to do jump backs on the mat because it's grippy. Yeah, you need like a smooth mat. It helps for jump backs. And Ben shows off. <laughs> All right, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. Good. Inhale. Exhale. All right, last little push, because we had some requests for handstands today. <laughs> so shorten the stance. You're going to gaze forward between the hands, and you're going to come into this like crouching tiger pose, right? So bend the knees, gaze forward between the hands, booty goes high to the sky. And you're just going to try to stack your hips over the shoulders and bring the heels to the sit bones trying to get a little bit of hang time. So take about five hops. Good. Just trying to get a little bit of hang time. <laughs> Good. And then on your fifth hop, nice spin. You're gonna try to land in a forward fold at the front of your mat. Good. <laughs> Michelle, you're like, okay, I'm good. <laughs> forward fold at the front of your mat. Feet are hip width distance apart. Collect the big toes with the peace fingers for Pada Gustasana. Inhale, lift up and lengthen. Gaze goes forward. Exhale, fold it forward. Yeah, pull the chest down to the thighs. Release the head and neck. Breathe. Good. Big breath in. Exhale. Inhale, lift up halfway. Walk the hands underneath the feet. Padahastasana. So Ricardo, separate your feet hip width distance. Yes. And then walk the hands underneath the feet like Carla, where her toes are meeting her wrists. Good. And then fold. Elbows go wide. Release the head and neck. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Inhale, lift up halfway. Toe heel the feet out to the edges of the mat. Malasana, yogi squat. Hands come to prayer at heart center. You're pressing the thighs open with the triceps and then just shift a little bit side to side. Good. Maybe you open up the arms. You can try to plant the right hand out in front of the right foot and then reach the left fingertips up high to the sky. Gaze goes up past those left fingertips. Maybe you bind. Reaching that left arm around the lower back, catching the right fingertips. There you go. Nice Saskia. Good. Switching sides. Nice done. I like it. Hands come back to prayer at heart center. Maybe you plant the left hand out in front of the left foot. Reach the right arm high. Maybe you bind, pulling that right shoulder down and away from the right ear. Breathing here for three. Drew, sit on your block. So bring your feet wider and then put your block here. Nah, I'll help you in a minute. All right, bring the hands back to center. Play the hands down to the mat. Let's just do this. So step the left foot back, come into your lizard lunge. Gaze goes up. Find a little movement here. Circles in one direction. Circles in the other direction. Good. Drop the back knee, untuck the toes, and then press that right thigh open. So either stay up on the left hand or come down to the left forearm. Gaze goes over that right shoulder. Either stay here. If you want more, you're super open. You can bend that left knee, 
Reach back with the right hand for your galaxy pose. Feeling the heart open to the sky. Good. Breathing here for three, two, one. Release the right hand back down to the mat. Tuck the left toes under and just step the left foot back to your malasana. Good. Feet hip or as wide as your mat. So drew wide in your feet even more. There you go. And then just plant the hands down to the mat. Step the right foot back. Come into your lizard lunge. Circle the hips in one direction. Circle the hips in the other direction. Good. And just drop that right knee. Maybe you come down to the forearms and press that left thigh open. Gaze goes over the left shoulder. Maybe you bend the right knee and reach back with the left hand for your galaxy pose. Peeling that left shoulder open. For three, two, one, release the right foot. Tuck the right toes under. This time, just step it back to your downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg goes up and back behind you. Exhale, right knee to right elbow. You pause or you fly. Good, inhale, leg goes high. Exhale, right knee to left elbow. Pause or fly. Inhale, leg goes high. Exhale, step it forward between the hands. Lower the left knee. Reach the arms up to the sky. Anjaneyasana. Feel the stretch. Deep breath in. Exhale, twist. Hook the left tricep on the outside of the right thigh. Hands come to prayer at heart center. Maybe you tuck the back toes under and lift that back knee up off the mat. Finding length all the way from the left heel through the crown of the head. Every exhale, twisting a little bit deeper. Inhale, exhale, good last big breath, inhale. Exhale, hands come down to the mat. Just step it back to your downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg goes high to the sky. Exhale, left knee to left elbow, you pause or fly. Nice, Michelle. Inhale, leg goes high. Exhale, left knee to right elbow, pause or fly. Nice bend. Inhale, leg goes high. Exhale, step it forward between the hands, lower the right knee, reach the arms up, stay here for a breath. Sink into that left knee, find the length, and then exhale, twist. Hook the right tricep on the outside of the left thigh. Hands come to prayer. Tuck the back toes under and lift the back knee up off the mat. Find your edge, find your depth. Inhale, exhale, two more breaths. Exhale, last big breath. Exhale, release the hands down. Step it back to your downward facing dog. Good, just come forward and then drop the knees to the mat. Come to standing on the knees. We're gonna take a camel pose. So the feet are hip width distance apart, knees are hip width distance apart, hands to the lower back for support, and then press the hips forward. Keep the hips over the knees, puff the heart up to the sky, drop the head back. Maybe you drop the hands back and catch the heels with the hands. Keep pressing the hips forward, puffing the heart up to the sky. Breathing here for three, stay here, for two, and one, come all the way back forward and just take a seat down between the heels. So knees together, heels are like brushing the sides of your sit bone, your, your, your booty. So Drew, sit on a block so you have more grounding. So you want your sit bones to be nice and grounded. Sit up nice and tall. And then if you're ready, you can recline. If not, if this is enough, you stay here. If this is enough on your knees, stay here. If not, if you want more, you want more quads, you want more hip flexors, go ahead and recline to your edge, to your depth. Good. Wherever that may be today. Good. Breathing here. Good. And then as you're ready, slowly start to make your way back up onto your hands and knees. Send one leg long behind you and just give it a couple pulses. 
Yeah. So bring your blood like back to the leg and then switch sides. Good. And just make your way back to your down dog as you're ready. Good. Gaze forward between the hands, bend the knees, jump all the way through to your seat. Setting up for Baddha Konasana, soles of the feet together, knees go out wide. Inhale, sit up nice and tall, find length in the spine. Exhale, fold it forward over the feet. The feet. Yeah, so soles of the feet together. Or you can bring the legs out wide. Your friend, Michelle. <laughs> Good. So press and then a little bit. I know this is a lot for you, right? <laughs> Good. One more big breath. Good. And then slowly start to sit all the way back up. Come to lying on your back. We're going to take two back bends today. So set up for a bridge pose if that's what you need for your first round. Or you move straight into your full wheel. Five breaths in each back bend. So heels are close to the sit bones, lift the seat, walk the shoulders underneath the body, interlace the hands down to the mat underneath the body. Breathe here. Good. On your fifth breath, you lower down and then move into your second breath. If you need to take a bridge pose, take bridge. If you want to move into your, I can't, I can't assist you today with my lower back, sorry. Or you can take your full wheel. Press everything up, lift up. I almost did, and then I was like, no, don't do it. <laughs> Can't. Good. Five breaths. Ricardo, press your chest back more. So try to straighten your legs. Press your heart back here. Here, I can do this for you. Oh, my lower back, man. <laughs> and then tuck your chin to your chest, lower everything down. Hug the knees into the chest, massage the lower back, rock the sacrum out side to side. Good. And then just draw the right knee into the chest. Give it a tight squeeze, send the left leg long. Good. And then just drape the right knee across the body. Find a twist, supine twist. Extend the right arm out to the right. Gaze goes over that right shoulder. If you want more, you can catch the outside edge of the right foot with the left hand and then kick it out to the left side of the space. If you want even more, you can bend the left knee and reach the right hand for the inner arch. Yeah, nice Carla, double bound. Yeah, <laughs> three. It feels good, two. One, release that, come all the way back onto your back and just switch it out. Draw the left knee in, send the right leg long, give it a tight squeeze, and then just drape it across the body. Find your twist. Take whatever variation that you took on the opposite side. Maybe you caught the outside edge of that left foot with the right hand and extended the left leg. Maybe you bent the right knee and caught the inner arch of the right foot with the left hand. Good. Gazes over that left shoulder. <laughs> Michelle, bring this leg that way. Bend this knee back. Yeah, there you go. Three, two, one. Come all the way back onto your back. Hug both knees into the chest. Make yourself into a teeny tiny ball. So hug the forehead up to meet the knees. Scrunch up the fingers, the toes. Make everything nice and tight. Find this restriction of the flow of the blood in the body. Hold your biggest breath yet. And then exhale, just let everything go. <laughs> We've arrived. Final resting pose. Shavasana. Take up space. Let the body rest. You did a lot of work. So just start to let that practice marinate in the body. Good. the thoughts away just a little bit longer.
to deepen your breathing. Start to invite some small movements back into the fingers and toes. Dropping the head over to one side and then the other. Reaching the arms up overhead. Find a full body stretch. Take a deep breath in here. Exhale, just let it go. Good. Draw the knees into the chest and roll over onto one side. Resting in fetal pose for as long as you need to. Good, and then as you're ready, take your time, slowly making your way back up to your seat, keeping the eyes closed, facing the front of the space, closing the practice with the mantra, Loka Samasta Suki No Bhavantu. It means, may all beings everywhere be happy and free from suffering. And may our thoughts, words, and actions contribute to that happiness and freedom for all. trusting that the true teacher lies inside of each and every one of you. Together we bow. Namaste. Namaste.